Imaginemos un coche parado que hace sonar su bocina. Un observador percibirá un sonido uniforme. Pero si el coche se mueve y la bocina sigue sonando, las ondas que llegan al observador estarán más comprimidas ya que la fuente emisora de las ondas se acerca a él. Es decir, habrá aumentado la frecuencia y por tanto percibirá un sonido más agudo. En cambio, si el coche se aleja, las ondas estarán cada vez más separadas y para un observador situado detrás del coche habrá disminuido la frecuencia. When the pulse hits the stationary tank, it reflects back at the same frequency. However, when the pulse hits the jet as it is moving away, it reflects back with a lower frequency. Finally, as the jet returns, the pulse is reflected back with a higher frequency because the jet is moving towards the... The Doppler technology uses a sensor continuously transmitting ultrasonic signals at a constant frequency. The particles contained in the medium reflect the signal. The particle movement shifts the frequency of the reflected signal. The frequency shift is detected by the sensor. The greater the particle velocity, the greater the frequency shift. Doppler measurement is a spot velocity measurement. The sensor is not able to determine at which level the velocity has been detected. Due to this reason, the flow profile cannot be represented.